Hello everyone, my name is Janae and you're watching Diamond Painting Reviews by Janae. Hey everyone, again my name is Janae and for those of you that are new to the channel or just stopping by, a big howdy and welcome. If you like what you see and you like what you hear, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. If you do decide to subscribe, please don't forget to hit the indication bell that is right next door to that subscribe button. That bell is going to let you know when I've uploaded my next video. So by saying that everyone, first and foremost, a big howdy and welcome to all of my subscribers. You guys are the best and thank you so much for spending some time with me tonight. But I do want to apologize to all of you. And the reason for that is, is I attempted to try to do an unboxing yesterday and I learned a valuable lesson. Don't try to do a video when you're extremely exhausted because your mind goes everywhere and words just don't seem to want to come out properly. So by saying that, this is one of three unboxings and I've already opened this box. I went through half of the video and finally just said, I'm too tired, I can't do this. Again, apologies for that. Before I show you what's in the box or what was in the box, I'm going to show you some accessories that I also purchased from Dreamers Designs that I really wanted to try out. Now you can purchase these three items. Um, oops, I'll just put them right here. Now you can purchase these three items together. One of them is a row straightener and corrector. I have this exact same straightener minus the branding and I don't use these, but it came with the kit. So I thought, well, you know, I'll have a second one. If anyone is interested in one of these, let me know because I have this one and I have another one. I do not use them. So if you're interested, let me know down below in the comments and I will reach out to you about it. The main reason why I got it was this. I wanted to get a smaller rolling pin. I use a really big one and it is really hard plastic. I find that it doesn't really roll very evenly against the drills and also one of my biggest fears is that it's going to cause some damage to the drills. This particular rolling pin is a different type of rubber so it's a little bit more gentle on the drills and it does help push those drills down but it doesn't slip and slide on top of the drills either. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for me to have one of these rolling pins and I'm going to try it out see how it works and I'll let you know what I think about it. Another reason why I bought this kit is because I love this tray and the reason why is it's got a stopper here. Now it doesn't have a spout but because of the stopper I really do like it. It's fairly deep and it's got really nice ridges in there. It is branded on the back so all three of these tools come together and I believe I paid around $19 for them. So, or maybe it was, I'll have to double check. Sorry, I'm not prepared for that part. But I believe I paid 19, but I could have gotten it for $10.99. I will double check though. This painting is called Ancient Heart. It is a 40 by 60 full square drill. And the reason why I got this painting is a little off the wall. This is not the typical painting I would normally purchase. I try to stay away from the portrait or people uh, paintings because I find that the colors that they use for the skin tones sometimes don't always look right. But every time I went on their website, for some reason, this particular painting always grabbed my eye. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get it. I think it took about four or five times checking it, but I decided to get this one. It is sold out. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And as I said, I did try to unbox this last night and um, I got about halfway through the unboxing and said, nope, I'm going to redo it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all of the content that was in the box and go over that. What we're going to do is not only look at 
the drills and the canvas, but we're also going to do a very thorough look over on the drill field. So let's grab that. So the canvas has had a time to straighten itself out, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this for now so we can take a look at the drills. So here are the drills. And here is the schematic. Try to straighten this out. Oops, <laughs> twing. And there's the toolkit. So when you do an unboxing for Dreamers Designs, you're going to get three items in your kit. You're always going to get a canvas, a toolkit, and your drills. Another thing that Dreamers Designs includes in their kit is the schematic here. It is in sticker form, so you can use this either on your storage container systems or Ziploc bags, whichever you choose to use. Also, you can use this as a reference, so you don't necessarily need to cut this if you don't want to. I'm finding that it is easier for me to just cut this up and put on my storage container system because, well, as you can see, it kind of, it's like a slinky. <laughs> and it's hard to really straighten this one out. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to zoom the camera in so that it can focus more on this than all of this. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is move this. And let's zoom this camera in and take a look at the symbols in this schematic. So hold on. All right. That way I don't have to lift it up and my camera gets a little bit finicky, so. All right, so we've got an N there, a J, that looks like an L, a dot, 310 a T. So we've got an arrow pointing down and to the right. No, sorry. Down and to the left. We've got a capital E, a plus, a 7, an X, a B, a C, a V, 4, 3 K, a dash, an arrow up, an H, an M, 5 U P upside down Y a slash. Um, I call that giving me the finger, but I'm not quite sure what that is. An X, an A, a G, a greater sign going to the left, an equal sign sideways, a 6, an I an O, a 2, and a Y. There is a reason why I wanted to go through this with you. The reason for that is I have noticed in the last couple of Dreamer Design paintings that I've been working on that there's been a lot of symbol similarities. This schematic is showing me that there's no symbol similarities, which is great because when you have two or three X's, in one painting, it gets very, very confusing. Now, I will go over that in my post review on the painting that I'm currently working on, and you'll understand why. So the schematic looks pretty good, and I don't see any symbols at this point that is gonna give me any grief. But just because the schematic looks clear doesn't necessarily mean the drill field will. And that's the reason why I want to spend a little bit of time showing you the drill field. Now, some of you might be asking, well, why would you do that? Well, the thing about Dreamers Design is that they have been doing some improvements with their mapping and with their canvases. And one thing that was a big issue last year was blurry symbols. And that is the reason why I'm going to really concentrate more so on the drill area and the clarity of the drill area so that you guys can all see what I'm seeing. But before we actually do that, let's go over briefly the toolkit. Dreamers Design has a really nice toolkit. So they pack it in this super soft, plush 
bag and what you receive are two of the trays with spouts. You get two pins. One has, oops, the brass tip and the other has a plastic tip. You also receive two comfort grips, a bag of Ziploc bags that will accommodate all of your colors, and you also receive two of the wax caddies, two of your comfort grips, a three-placer, a six-placer, and a heavy-duty pair of tweezers. And I didn't want to bring it all out, but I just wanted to point that out just in case we've got some um, new viewers that hasn't seen an unboxing for Dreamers Designs. So that is what you will get in your toolkit. So let's go over the drills next. And one thing that I forgot to look up is how many colors are in this kit. So there are 36 colors. Again, these are square drills and there is one AB. So this is our AB drill. Here we go. So it is 5200 it looks like. For those of you that are new diamond painters, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it gives that extra bit of sparkle on these drills. Now, when these drills are sitting next to the regular facets, it really helps illuminate those drills as well. So they're very special, very beautiful drills. All right, so let's go with this first strand here. The first color is 434, 402, 400, 369, 310, couple of, there's three bags, 304, oops, all of a sudden my camera went, no, <laughs> 304, 301 and 300. Then we have 938, 937, really beautiful dark olive green, 936. 935, 934, 913, that's, that's a beautiful color, look at that, 912, 911, 968, 814, that's pretty. Love those brick colors. Then we're going to look at this ribbon. So now we have 3856. Um, 3809. Ooh, that's pretty. That's beautiful. Wow. 3808, 3808, which is another beautiful color, wow, okay, 3801, oh, not very many in this bag, is there, <laughs> 3708, 3371, very pretty, two bags of those, 976, 946, wow, isn't that bright or what? Woo, that's a hot orange. And 938. And this is our last ribbon. Oops. 
right, so this is 801. We've got a couple of those. 742. Very pretty gold. Look at that. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, this is even prettier. Ooh. 741. That is gorgeous. Wow. 740. These are beautiful, vibrant colors. Wow. Oh, not very much in this bag. 721. 666. Very beautiful red. Look at the sparkle. Wow. Okay. 606. Very beautiful red. Really not very much difference there. Well, this is more of an orange red, I guess. Oh, here's another bag. Very little drills in there. 469. It's an olive color. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Oh. Mmm. I might have to contact the store. Well, we'll see. There's some cavities in these drills. That's not good. Okay. And 436. Hmm. I'm going to have to really take a good look at these drills because this bag here, I can see a lot of those drills have cavities in them. And this bag here, I saw a few. I don't see any in there. These brighter colors, it's going to be a little bit harder to see cavities in them. But uh, yeah, those other two colors, I definitely saw cavities. That's not good. Okay. Well, I will uh, show you those drills in just a few minutes. And then this is the AB. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to zoom the camera back out so that we can flip the canvas over, take a look at this image. So hold on, everyone. All right. So let's flip this canvas over. And there she is. This is going to be, I think, a very beautiful painting once it's completed. I love the total image of this and it reminds me a lot of Mexico. So what do you think? She is just gorgeous and like I said I normally don't go for a, this type of image but I really do love this image. So I'm just going to flip here to the side. She reminds me of a Mayan. And most likely the reason why she reminds me of a Mayan is because of the tower back here, which is definitely a Mayan tower. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Now the artist's name is Regan, and I'm not going to say his last name because I'm afraid I may slaughter it. So I'm going to bring this up so that you can see the information and there's the name of the artist right here and here is the thumbnail of this painting and what it will look like once it's completed but this is gorgeous what do you guys think wow I'm impressed so by saying that as I said I really want to focus on the drill field to see if I can find any issues in regards to fuzzy symbols um, and or symbols that are close together that may pose a problem. So hold on everyone and I'm going to zoom you back into the canvas so that we can take a look at this drill field together. Hold on. All right, there we are. So the major issue that I've had in the past are white symbols. So what I'm seeing here is you've got your Y's as a symbol here 
in the white areas and they look really clear but the background is black but what I'm looking at is also the letter N the letter N is a white symbol so I'm going to pull this back and show you what I'm talking about it's really hard to see what I'm talking about um, with the protective sheet on. So let me get my trusted pointer. And I'm going to bring the camera down just a little bit more so you can see what I'm looking at. So sorry for the wobbly. Here we go. There. All right. So if you can see the X's, they look pretty good. But what I'm concerned about, and I noticed it right off when I started looking at the Y's, is the N's. I don't know if you guys can see those. They're a bit fuzzy or blurry to me at this time. Now, I do not have a light pad on right now. You will definitely need a light pad for these ends, but the X's look good. The um, dots look good. The greater sign looks good. I can see them fairly clear. Um, the eyes look pretty good. And let me just see if I can see anything else that may pose a problem. I think the major one is going to be the ends. So I'm going to go ahead and put the clear protective sheet back on and that way we can focus. There we go. On the bottom part of the canvas. So let's take a look right here. The plus symbols look really good, and the up arrow looks good. The L's, now the problem with the L's, they're clear. I can see them fairly well, but if you can see them, you're going to see that they're not quite white. They're more of a light pink color, and that may be a problem too. So again, you're going to need your light pad to be able to see those clearly. Um, I my major worry was the plus signs. Now, if I'm looking at this correctly, now do we have an arrow pointing down? No. Okay, so I'm going to show you another issue. So if you look, oops, sorry for the glare. There we go. If you look at the plus signs, they look pretty clear, but when I look at them with my glasses, with my regular glasses, these plus signs look like arrow downs. Now again, if I have my magnifiers on, they look fairly clear. So yeah, that to me might be a little bit of a problem. And also, I'm just going to bring this up too, sorry. If you look at this symbol here, that's the finger, I call it the finger. And it also looks really light. You've got a light color background with a light colored symbol. It almost looks like it's blending in. So I, again, this is something that you're going to need a light pad for. All in all, though, the majority of the symbols look fairly clear. I may have a problem with the ends, and I may have a problem with the plus signs. But, as I said, in the viewfinder, they looked pretty good. Now, let me look at the ends. Where are they? There they are. So, in the viewfinder, oops, sorry for the glare again. Yeah, see, in the viewfinder, they look pretty good. So, again... It's just telling me that I'm going to have to wear my magnifiers with, with those particular symbols.
All right. So what I'm going to do is raise the camera back up and zoom it back out. We're going to take one last look at this beautiful painting. So hold on. Oops, sorry about that. And let's zoom me back out. So there she is, everyone. This is called Ancient Heart. This is from Dreamers Designs. It's a 40 by 60 full square drill. Has 36 colors and one AB. Now, given the fact that there's only one AB to this kit, I will definitely be swapping some colors out for this and jazzing it up. Stay tuned to see what I do with this beautiful painting. And I'm really excited to start this, although this will wait. I'm planning on doing this as a gift for some friends down in Mexico, and I hope they will enjoy it. So by saying that, everyone, I'm going to bid you all adieu. Thank you so much for spending some time with me tonight. And I, again, apologize for the weird unboxing, but I really wanted to show you this beautiful image. Always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay happy. Again, my name is Janae. Thank you for spending some time with me tonight on the review. We'll talk again real soon. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.